This week, BMW Motorrad announced details of their upcoming active cruise control system, which is a pretty significant development in motorcycle safety. So in today's video, we'll look over the details of this new technology, as well as which other manufacturers are hoping to release similar features in the next year or two. But before we get started, if you're new here and you'd like to see more of the latest motorcycle news right here on YouTube, then please do remember to hit subscribe. Many of you will already be familiar with Active Cruise Control as it's been present on countless cars for a number of years now. Essentially, it maintains the distance from the vehicle in front of you and therefore takes the sting out of longer motorway journeys as you're not having to feather the throttle or trim a manual cruise control. It also has obvious safety benefits with less risk of rear-ending someone if they break suddenly without you noticing. The new BMW Motorrad Active Cruise Control, or ACC as they're calling it, is essentially the same idea but integrated into their motorcycle range. The bikes used to illustrate the system in the press video are K1600s, which makes total sense as they're the most long-distance touring-orientated motorcycles in the BMW lineup. But I see absolutely no reason why this couldn't roll down to the R1250RT or the R1250GS soon, and arguably to even more bikes as the tech becomes cheaper cheaper and more compact. In terms of how it works, when you enable ACC, it assumes that your current speed should be taken for the speed setting, although it can subsequently be fine-tuned from the switch gear. You can also choose from three distance settings, which will determine how close the bike allows you to get to the vehicle in front. There's a sensor mounted at the front, which is used to measure that distance. You can also choose between a comfort or dynamic mode, which determines how aggressively the bike accelerates and decelerates. And lastly, it's possible to disable the distance feature so that you can use the cruise control in a more traditional way. Should you want to overtake, the ACC system will begin to accelerate when you switch on the indicators and then resume the set speed when the lane ahead is clear. ACC is also corner insensitive, so it'll still detect the vehicle in front and keep a distance despite being leaned over. It'll also adjust the speed of the bike to ensure that the lean angle is appropriate instead of plowing on at 70 miles per hour, for example, if the road is tightening. But at the same time, the more the lean angle increases, the less the bike will make abrupt changes to speed in order to avoid unsettling the bike mid-corner. To disable the system, in case of an emergency, much like a car, a touch of the brakes or the throttle will immediately allow the rider to take over. But it's also worth noting that the system does not work for stationary vehicles, only moving, so if you're approaching some lights or a traffic jam, the rider must do the braking. Tech like this seems to divide bikers. I always get a few comments saying that it's too much interference and that the simpler the bike, the better. But personally, as much as I do like a basic motorcycle as well, I also really enjoy riding these more futuristic machines with all of the latest gadgets. They make the most sense to me when it comes to motorway riding. I'm not sure that any of us get a real kick out of those days where you just have to cover some big miles in a straight line. So anything that makes it easier, more comfortable and safer, in my my view is a good thing. Although I've yet to try a K1600, I borrowed a Goldwing from Honda for a few months and it was absolutely rammed with tech. Heated grips and seat, an electronically adjustable screen, a super smooth engine with DCT gearbox, cruise control, built-in sat-nav, a multimedia system, and a nice comfortable riding position all combined to mean that I actually started to ever so slightly look forward to a bit of motorway work. Active cruise control would be another little enhancement to add to that experience. In the last couple of years, the most prolific new piece of motorcycle tech has to have been the IMU, or inertial measurement unit. It feeds pitch, roll and your data into the ECU in order to enable more advanced rider aids like cornering traction control, cornering ABS, wheelie control, rear wheel lift control and some bikes like the DCT Hondas will even use it to make sure that they're not making aggressive shifts mid-corner that would unsettle the bike. Could radar-enabled safety systems like BMW's Active Cruise Control be the next big thing? It certainly looks that way with at least two other manufacturers explicitly working on their own solutions. Firstly, there's KTM who documented some of the technology that they're working on in a YouTube video published a couple of years back. Their ACC stands for Adaptive Cruise Control 
control and looks to be pretty much the same idea as BMW's, with a front-facing radar maintaining a distance from the vehicle in front. But they've also been working on a rear-facing sensor too, which can be used for blind spot detection. The prototype shows some LEDs bodged into the mirrors, which illuminate when a vehicle is present in that area behind the bike. Again, this is tech that's been available on many cars for a while now, but it's exciting to see it come into motorcycles too. Ducati have also announced that they're working on their own project called ARAS or Advanced Rider Assistance Systems. Developed in partnership with the Polytechnic University of Milan, it also features a front-facing radar for adaptive cruise control and one at the rear for blind spot detection, but they also mention that the rear-facing sensor can be used to warn the rider of vehicles approaching at high speed from behind. I'm not entirely sure what the rider could do to prevent a rear-end collision, especially if there's traffic in front of you, but perhaps Perhaps warning lights can be triggered to alert the approaching driver. Ducati say in their press release that they aim to have this technology available on one of their bikes in 2020, rolling out to more models later. Many expected them to announce it on the touring-focused Multistrada 1260S Grand Tour which was launched at Eichmann last year, but it wasn't to be, so perhaps they're holding this tech back for their V4 Multistrada, which they've confirmed is in development and has also been spotted testing extensively this year. But it seems as though BMW will be the first to the market with adaptive or active cruise control, despite having no specific date for release. They do have the advantage of not only partnering with Bosch on the project, but also having a wealth of research and knowledge in the area from their cars. It's also worth pointing out that their system is the simplest of the bunch, choosing to focus on just the active cruise control without a rear-facing sensor for now at least. Like I said, I'm all for it and I like to see motorcycle manufacturers pushing the tech forward, but I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. Would you use something like this to take the edge off those longer trips, or would you rather trust your own eyes and throttle control? Let me know in the comments below, and if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe and I'll catch you next time.